To explain subtraction in base 4 for my 1's place, I'm going to use blue marker and blue coins. For my 4 place, I'm going to use red marker and red coins. And for my 16th, I'm going to use black marker and black coins. Subtracting in base 4 is the same thing as subtracting in base 10. When a digit in the number you are subtracting from is smaller than the digit you are subtracting, then you must borrow from the next place value. For example, 32 base 10 minus 13 base 10. Since this number is smaller than this number, you can't subtract it without getting a negative number. So you borrow from the next place value. The 2 becomes a 12. So you minus 3 from 12, and that equals 9. And you minus 1 from 2, and that equals 1. So your answer is going to be 19 base 10. 32 base 10 minus 13 base 10 is equal to 19 base 10. The same borrowing method is used with base 4. For example, 32 base 4 minus 13 base 4. Since the 2 is smaller than the 3, you borrow from the next place value. Change this into a 2. Instead of adding 10 because of base 10, you add 4 because it's base 4. So 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. And 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So 32 base 4 minus 13 base 4 is equal to 13 base 4. Now to try a harder number. You can't subtract 3 from 2 without getting a negative number. So you cross off the next number and replace it. Since it's base 4, you add 4. And you get 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So 232 base 4 minus 123 base 4 equals 103 base 4. Suppose you walk into a store and the prices are in base 4. You buy a bag of pretzels and a bottle of water. You go up to the cashier and he says that your price is 22 base 4. So what this means is that you need to pay two red coins and two blue coins. So you have three red coins and one blue coin, or 31 base 4. So 31 base 4 minus 22 base 4. First, what you have to do is borrow from the 3. And then for the 1, you add 4 because it's base 4. So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. And 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. If you want to see it in coins, you have 3 red and 1 blue. Since you need to pay 2 red coins and 2 blue coins, and you don't have 2 blue coins, you can substitute a red for 4 blue. Here we can connect back to the other problem, the other way of viewing the problem, where we have the 2 red and the 5 blue. Now we subtract the, two, the 22 base 4 from the other numbers. So you're subtracting the 2 red from the price and the 2 blue from the price. So you have 0 red and 3 blue coins left. So 31 base 4 minus 22 base 4 is equal to 3 base 4. 
To see another example in coins, we're going to do this problem. 322 base 4 minus 133 base 4. So this is saying that you have three black coins, two red coins, and two blue coins. You need to take away three blue, three red, and one black. Since you don't have three blue and red, one red equals four blue, you're going to erase a red and add four blue. Now it's possible to subtract three blue. Since you don't have three red and you need to subtract three red, you only have one, then you subtract a black and four reds equals one black. So you add four reds. Now it's possible to subtract three reds and three blues as well as one black because you have two blacks. So when subtracting, we will erase the three blues and then we'll also erase three reds and we'll also erase one black. So what this is saying is that you have one black, two reds, and three blues. So 322 base 4 minus 133 base 4 is equal to 123 base 4.